Okay, in a previous visit, uh, video, in a previous video, we've got to learn to speak properly, John. Um, I showed you how to tie an adjustable jug sling knot um, that w that's used to wrap around a bottle, etc. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to tie the Prusik um, bottle sling knot. And basically, what I've done here is I have um, cut myself a length of paracord, I have put um, a double fisherman's knot in here and as you can see it is adjustable as such and at the end of the video if you want to see how to tie the double fisherman's knot or the jug sling knot I will put links into that at the end of the video and also in the description but down below so always check this description down below because there'll be additional information in there and basically it's a very simple knot to tie what I'll do is I will get the neck of my bottle like so and I will place it over the top I'm just going to put these slightly off center like put those slightly off center it helps if we have something the size of the screen doesn't it so put so I'm going to put that cord over my bottle like so and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it through underneath and pass it through the center of that loop that I created there and then I'm just going to repeat that again so go through underneath through the center like so and bring it through and there we have it we've now got our cords running like so and you know if it's correct or not because as we wrap it round you can see there it's not crossing over anywhere and then on this side here we've sort of like got a smiley face around our cords coming through at this point here right so that's almost complete but the next thing we do is we just pull this one a little bit further along like so so we end up with a bit more we then put a twist in it like so when we put the twist in it we then take it over our original lead like so and then we pull up tight and as we pull up tight whoops we then start locking that in position and you can see here now that that is locked in position and it's fairly tight if that's hanging on something now that is not going to come undone and so this is just another knot to tie around a bottle and keep it secure so that you could then pick this bottle up and dangle it in the water just to keep it cool or something like that and so that is the Prusik bottle sling knot so let's undo that again and let's just quickly tie it again so just untie it take it off and so once again I get my bottle like so and I pass my cords it doesn't really matter which way round you go, I go round once, this is just going round the other way, and then I underneath and go round a second time, and try not to let them cross over, and then bring them through like so. They've crossed over there, and so now when I pull up on that, we end up with them all nicely side by side to each other, and they're not crossing over and we've got our smiley face above there just to show that it's happy so what we do now is we extend this one a bit further we put a twist in it like so bring the other one through like so and then pull that up tight and as you pull it up tight it's going to grip around the bottle and let's just see that's crossing over slightly so it's not as happy as we'd like and there we have it we've now got multiple cords here gripping a bottle it's locked into place here but it's only on a slip knot as such and then this end can be tied off to something as your bottle is being held or dipped in water to cool it down etc I'm not sure vintage port needs cooling down as such um, but that's that's what we do so that's the Prusik bottle sling knot and don't forget right at the end here now you will see additional videos relating to this and also the double fisherman's knot that I
tied in this here and as you can see it is an adjustable knot as well. So that's the Prusik bottle sling knot.